Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with how to make some beef sliders. Sliders are a small version of a hamburger, if you didn't know that already. So uh, here we go. I'm going to take one pound of grass-fed organic, see that, 100% grass-fed, beef, and this is really the key. We're going to portion this into eight pieces. So no matter what shape or size your package comes in, just make it into like a little square and use a knife or a pastry cutter, cut it in eight chunks. All right, now to portion these, we're gonna use some baking cups, just paper baking cups in a muffin tin. I'm gonna salt and pepper the bottom. I'm gonna throw in my eight pieces of beef. Now let's do a little math. All right, take a pound of beef, cut it in eight pieces. Those are exactly two ounce sliders. So the beauty of this is they're gonna cook exactly the same amount of time. They're gonna look the same. They're gonna look very professional. All right, salt and pepper the top. Then I'm gonna take another baking cup, paper baking cup, and push the top down to flatten it out. And you have perfect little slider burgers. Now you can store these just like this. You can actually stack them up, wrap them if you want to do these later in the day. In fact, I'm just going to cook four here and save the other four for later. So nice way to portion it, nice way to uh, kind of manage your slider. All right, so I'm going to take the paper off, and these, if you so choose, are ready to cook. Look at that. It looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Only, you know, meat. So I'm going to take my nonstick pan. I don't have any oil in there. I have it on medium-high heat. Make sure it's preheated. I'm going to cook mine, and this is me. I'm going to cook mine exactly three minutes per side. Now, while the first side was cooking, I'm going to show you my secret, secret burger dressing. Two parts mayo, one part mustard, one part ketchup, one part relish. That's it. That's my secret recipe. Which, by the way, I need a new name for the recipe now because I just showed you. So anyway, that's the uh, all-purpose burger dressing. Very lovely on a slider. All right, three minutes. I'm going to flip them over. So you got a nice crust, which is very beautiful, consistent size. You know, if you take a bunch of burger and try to roll little balls in your hands and flatten them and press them, you know, some will be the same, some won't. Some will be wide, some will be thinner. It's just a better method this way. All right, I'm going to slice up some tomatoes. To serve these, just find some nice, small dinner rolls. Uh, I prefer mine with yellow food coloring. That's just me. You know, I thought it would photo well. That's all the store I was at had, so normally I would just use regular little white mini dinner rolls. All right, after three minutes on the other side, these are feeling medium rare to me. But again, you're going to go by time with these because they're the same size. All right, you're going to put those on a plate. We're going to let those rest for two minutes so the juices recede back into the center and stay there. Otherwise, they'll just drip into your bun. We're going to portion our burgers out onto the bottoms, tomato on top, a little fresh pepper on top, top it with a bun, and uh, that's it. That's how you make sliders. All right, perfect for Super Bowl party. Look at that. Three minutes per side, perfect, medium rare. You want medium, medium well, go an extra minute per side. Make sure you let it rest two minutes. Now the key is, and remember this, do a couple tests. You will determine after a couple the perfect cooking time, and it will always be that time because it's always that size. I hope you give those a try. There's no ingredients on the site, although I will give you my sauce recipe. So if you want to go there, you can check it out. And uh, as always, enjoy. Enjoy.